You've seen the view, heard all the real talk. Now have a seat at our table, a table for five. Okay, before we, we you know, jump into this topic, which is a really uh, important topic, yeah. I want to give a number out. It's called National Domestic Hotline. It's 1-800-799-7233. 1-800-799-7233. I think if anybody watches this video and they kind of connect with anything that we're saying and go, hmm, I know somebody or I'm in this kind of situation or I've been in that kind of situation, Absolutely. this is a number you can call and people will help you. It's the National Domestic Hotline. So I just don't want to have a conversation about this without offering some resource Absolutely. to the people who are cooking in and just yeah. uh, listening to this. But mm -hmm. obviously this conversation came about because a couple of months ago, the Ray Rice issue became you know headline news oh. and it's unfortunate that this type of topic um, has to take center stage because it's happening to a prominent celebrity type person mm -hmm. and we pay attention when that's the case and also it became a bigger case because it was caught on tape that's right. and I read an article in Time magazine where it said the tape really mattered and it changed wow. everything because you are witnessing the violence. Mm -hmm. You can speak about the violence and say, oh, he pushed me, he slapped me. There's no record of it. And yeah. so you, unfortunately, we weigh what a slap is. Yeah. And right. we, are or visual, a show. we are visual beings by right. nature. So right. that and hits you here and you're mortified. Right. So Our culture. Saying that once we see it, then we're like, oh, wow. It doesn't just become, oh, he hit me. And then you visualize it in your mind. But you actually see yep. someone striking it's someone else. It's and impactful. you're like, whoa. That yeah, was it became crazy. a that real, video, it, be, like, it became, it became real to people. Yeah. It's like if you if you watch a rape and you're going, oh my God, he's raping her. You know, like it, it just becomes a much more yeah. uh, tangible thing yeah. when you're seeing it. And because Visible, we're, yeah. you know, of YouTube culture and obviously that happened, you know, we, it's, it's a really difficult topic. I think it's an unsettling thing. I felt like when I saw the video, I was very unsettled by it. Like, how could this happen? First, how could he be so comfortable as to do this out in such a public place? You know, you don't know well, if there's cameras everywhere. He thought that it was everywhere. elevator, which is well, nobody can see but him still, doing there, the I think he's so comfortable it, doing you know? it because he, he does it so often. Right. I think that yeah. he doesn't think. He got so comfortable, let me just do it anyway. And you know what, so. let, me, let me rephrase that. He probably had it done to him so often that that is That's where he holds yeah. his bark. Maybe he was abused as a child. <laughs> Who knows? Who I knows? Learn how to do it. I yeah. think they was fighting all day long, all the time. <laughs> all well, the yeah, time. that's part of the makeup, but yeah, it doesn't make it right. I don't think it no. makes it right, and I don't think that Never you know. Right. Obviously, that's that's the whatever the trigger. It's not. Right. That's the not way okay. they operate. It's obvious. That's the way they operate. That's why she was appalled. Like, get out of my business. She told the mm -hmm. media. She told right. America, get out of my business. Well, that's a good point to bring up too. Like, why is it that women, we as women, I think there was an outcry from what I understand and from what I was reading and heard and saw on social media and TV, that women were so appalled by the fact that she stayed. Why oh. Why is that? Why do you think we had such strong reactions as the majority of women saying, well, why is she staying? Why is she staying with her man? He you Would know, you he, stay with your man if he pushed you and shoved you and punched you in your face? I, think if, I think if I was used to What? It, Are you no, kidding I, me? Let me answer. I think if I was used to that type of behavior, she's, I think over a certain time you get conditioned. She's putting herself in the mindset of, of Alicia wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. So you still believe the whole, like, hope that right? it will get better. <laughs> that doesn't That's matter. Really now he has up. nothing. Hmm, it didn't up. matter. And, and but what she said, you asked, asked would you why. stay? You, she asked, would that's you stay? Why that's why she believes she, she stayed. stayed. Because I just feel like... You think it was for the money? Absolutely. Really? Mm -hmm. well, well, he's not going to make money after that. Be told, I don't think she had self-esteem. He's not going to make money I'm No, sure but truth be told, most women in domestic violence uh, situations don't leave because either they can't afford to go, they have right. children, yes. they can't leave, right. they have no resources, they don't have a job, the husband takes care of them. So yeah, that, so she I, had I understand all of those why things. she had all of those things, but she did not have self-respect. She didn't have self-esteem. What if, okay. And that started way before she met her yeah. husband. Well, we'll categorize it. Okay, the woman, if who, who stays with the husband who is abusive, then this is, this is, this is, this is maybe the reason. But, but what if you're totally out of that box? What if you should really in love with him still, no matter what? Forgive him, take him away. Supposedly what Bible says to you that just forgive. Forget, forget. Turn the other cheek. How many times? How many cheeks you, know, you got to turn? You know what? Can I ask Until you? He kills her. That is not. That is an extremely She's dysfunctional, emotional. You, you can't love somebody who is beating you down. That that's yeah. not love. That is a. That comes from a whole different. That's a different. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a psychological. Well, I'm sure that he's trying to make it up for her after that. All the sugar coating, this and that. Oh, mm -hmm. baby, you went jewelry, you went this, you this, that, and that. But is it's that enough? enough? I mean, how is that? How does that power. get to the point where it's enough? Oh, power. You're right. He has power yeah. over her. Yeah. But how and, is that okay? I don't and the know. fact that the NFL now the mm -hmm. other part to the story, mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to mention, mm -hmm, that's um, saw the tape. Mm -hmm. Beforehand, oh, and kind of slipped it under the rug because he's he was because valuable. the public didn't see the tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so not until the public sees the tape, tape and make yeah. a, make a big difference. outcry about like I can't yeah. believe y'all um, condoning this type of behavior. Yeah. it didn't make a difference. So if we wouldn't have never. We wouldn't have known tape, better. We wouldn't have known. Right? Because they already saw it. They already knew. And they thought, okay, well, this isn't right. Like, did he get a punishment? Does anybody know if he was punished at all by the NFL um, before when the tape was made public? He was suspended. Yeah, yeah. 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 Before the tape was made public. Okay. And then once he was made public, he's done. he was let go. Well, as soon, yeah. I, mean, as I think that's as, hypocritical on the NFL. Well, well as, as soon as his wife forgave him, and after the people's like, okay, we cannot really do anything about it. Right? Because the person, like, victim, kind of like, okay, I'll stay with them, blah, blah, blah. Then even the published, like, you know, other people cannot really do anything about it. Mm -hmm. If she's making a big issue as yeah, a woman, ties, you, you know, yeah. I'm going to stand up for a woman who's whatever. But she's kind of like so, so scared. I don't know what it is, but I was upset that she's ruining the our reputation. Yeah. Well, that's the case like, that's for more weaker, over 85% of the reputation? Women's reputation? Women's reputation. By staying, by staying, by staying by with staying man, somebody man, like, man. he should go to jail. Yeah, there's... He should have gone to jail already. I don't know that she's already. ruining our reputation. I, I, I just mean. feel like it. I just feel like, you know what? No, what you're saying, she's she's what not you're saying is she's, she's not... not she's not... Yeah. Yeah. And she's not a good example of a strong yeah. woman. I mean, let's face no it. No one ever get gonna get out of this situation. Because she yeah. was perfect example that okay, this was so bad. Yeah. Internationally yeah. view it, and, and she you have a take, chance she to get given out it a of voice, it. and that's what she missed she that opportunity she to give it a voice. Maybe she didn't want to be the spokesperson for it. Maybe she didn't want to have a voice. Well, that not everybody that's will famous protect wants her. to be she didn't a take the chance. Uh, role model. She didn't want to be a role model. She can't be a role model. Then she falls into that category of the same women that don't report it, that go underreported, and that's why domestic violence is not taken seriously. But yeah. I think that because you go back to, do to a lot with people's self esteem, it, she probably don't even know how to come out of it. She's just in this fog in her life. Maybe when she get a little older, she'll realize like, wow, I can't believe I sat through yeah. that. I endured that pain. Be, well, I didn't be. love myself. So I think that's what happens to a lot of women. And then some of them end up dead. Or some of them actually Look at get Nicole out. Simpson. Yeah, she or, left him yeah. numerous times. Or it, it was didn't recently matter. It didn't a, another um, uh, celebrity got locked up because he killed his wife, and the first wife left him mm -hmm. because she said it was mm -hmm. domestic violence, and then the second wife married him, and I'm sure she was just like believing his hype or believing whatever he was saying to get her to will her in, and then she winds up dead. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of. The self esteem, yeah, self esteem is, is a big part of it. You like, and they don't know what to do. I'm not how gonna say how, how to you live your life, what you want to do for your life, but like, there is tolerance that you can maybe take it. There's a limit, but definitely that uh, that situation, it was very clear. He didn't just do this. Yeah. He punched her, and oh, he's a yeah. football player. He knocked her out. He knows how knocked her unconscious and dragged her out of the elevator. Yeah. That was that was I'm like, really. Quite, I don't know. Graphic. I would just so how do, how do we how do we start out. this conversation as far as change? Where does it start from? Does it come with do we have to do better job if as he parents? You stick his ass it's right like, in the gut. <laughs> Well, I'm going to punch as, as how much we, as I uh, can if I would. That's how we start to direct stick his ass in the gut. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just no, don't have it. to stay. I just think women think that they but have they don't to stay. Know yeah, they don't, they don't know. That's why I say it has to be. You don't start it. Like, he was getting paid some odd millions of dollars. I'd probably be still there too. Shit. Like, hey. Are you punching this can't cure, you know? But they can't cure that. No. Like, give you one more chance. One more chance. How do you do that? How do you get your... No. So, After she lost all her teeth, you get your crap it's kicked nice. out of you every day, because and then be happy when you're driving to the toilet. bank. You can't. Because she was happy okay, spending that ball. money. That's well, deep. So would come you on. Stay? Would you stay? Hell no. no. Would you stay? I would probably be in jail. You're alone. I, yeah, I, I think, know that. I, I know. think at this table, we... Good question, okay? Obviously, at this table, we wouldn't stay. We would We would We wouldn't stay. But I think it all depends on what they've been through. I agree. All depends um, on what they've been on the through movie. and the relationship they have and the connection. But we have to, at this time, take a pause and <laughs> give you the feedback <laughs> and come back later. Pray. <laughs>
Thank you for joining us at Table for Five. Please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. We hope you were informed, educated, and entertained. See you next time.